I'm gonna go around around the town Up in my way, up in my shit Niggas be making a sound Niggas don't wish where I'm from Round till we making it out, ayy Round till we making it out, ayy Look, go around around the town Up in my way, up in my shit Niggas be making a sound Remember? Yeah. And he's like on his knees, like just take me out, bro. And he's another three tombstones or some shit on his ass. That's classic shit right there. It had me. Bro. It had me convinced. Wrestling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it had me convinced. I'm glad, I'm glad we did could ever relate to this. Yeah. Did you ever break it to anyone? What? That that shit was fake? Or predetermined? To be honest, break I had a parody. Yeah. I like how you said that. Did you ever break a table 3D and somebody through it? <laughs> I had you know what? <laughs> 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 nah, nah, I wish. I feel bro. like that fools had a chance. What? <laughs> like, like, I'm, I was just saying, like... Wait, what would you say? <laughs> Like as a little kid, not even realizing like who the hype was going towards. Uh -huh. yeah. Like I'd be on the other side, like nah, this fool's gonna win. But like not even like I said, not even realizing like yeah. nah, you know, it, was, it was predestined for yeah, this. Yeah, nah, I had a mom like, who would just between yeah, yeah. Edge and John Cena, all bro, like, it's all fake. Is yeah, that, I, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been known, I've been known for a while, but I had a cousin around the same age that, that like didn't realize it yet. And one of my older cousins was like, you know, they're not. Uh, he's talking about Kane and Undertaker. Like, you know, you know, they're not brothers, right? He didn't really get burned. Yeah, yeah. he's not really yeah. burned. Yeah, yeah. made him cry. Uh, uh, now, what am I like? like what? <laughs> yeah, now my dad will hold down like he. No, like, I thought they were brothers too for a while too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same, bro. I was like, damn, same. that's crazy. Remember when he like, yeah, these was real life beefing. Yeah, like, yeah. these was yeah. didn't go Amari. That's crazy. How the fuck? Like some Mario. Who came out with a mask? Kane, because he was burned, dog. Yeah, he was burned at birth. Lights all red and shit. Yeah. He did have a hard ass entrance. He did. And now that's Kane had one of the hardest edges. He did. 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 I was mad as like shit that they had the same special. Crazy, though. crazy. Yeah. Uh, but that's why I like that Undertaker had the um, tombstone and shit. Cause I don't know. Or even the the tightrope walk that he would yeah. do. Yeah. That yeah. shit climbing shit was tossed around. I fucking hate each other. That. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I fuck that shit. Dude. The old school. Yeah. But the rock and cold stone matches were one of the cold best. Stone. Cold stone, bro. Cold yeah. stone. What yo, the basket robin and cold stone matches, cold yo. Stone, Those Hagen dazs matches. Bro, you know oh, you getting roasted for that, right? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dog. Yeah, oh, you fucked up. That shit is too fast. You try to just keep going. Cold like, stone, dog. It is weird that they haven't done anything with them. Cold stone. They, that, it, yeah, yeah. genius marketing, right? The stone cold cold stone yeah. Yeah. Cold. ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, it's such a wild beginning. Oh, shit. Yeah, but those matches were the best. <laughs> yep. Rock, and that's rock. where we start the episode. <laughs> Fuck these fools. Did you, see, did you see Austin's return match? It was dope. That's versus Kevin enough. Owens. That show was uh, actually pretty tight. Was it? He's getting drunk the whole time fucking him up. It was tight. <laughs> yeah, that's see, that's epic. what? Nah, not believable. <laughs> no, not believable. Not believable. I'm not a... That's show on time. Yeah. You know what? I did. I felt that <laughs> way when... Bro. I we all know it. it. Jeff Hardy's better than... Yeah. That era to me, bro. Like he's Joe doing, man. but he a junkie he and crazy. got fired like five times, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah but just yeah. the just yeah. the junk. His moves. Yeah, I see, but most he, of the rest he had to be on drugs to do that, moves. right? The yeah. swanton to, off to a fucking that ladder and yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. That fool was painting eyes on top of his eyes. Fool, he was like on some other shit. Like he was on some We jumped in, you know, shit like that. And he was like jumping from like way up. Yeah. Hey, shout out to brother. Loki, was there any high flyers in the beginning era of Superfly? Snooker is the first. Okay. Okay. She even Ray Mysterio yeah. was like OG. Yeah, Ray Mysterio. Uh, I thought what is he considered from the, the, the OGs Lido. of the Frog Splash? Ricky Snooker Ricky Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat. Rock Splash? RVD was one of them. Ricky Steamboat had hops. Oh, Ricky Frog Steamboat. Splash? Yeah. yeah. Ray Mysterio's not oh, from a little later? That frog splash. Huh? Yeah. Ray Mysterio's not from a little later? Like, like uh, 2000s. Early, like early no, or before that, bro. Remember, oh, he, in the, he like was late called 90s, something else in WCW. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Sure. Like early yeah. mid nineties. Like, yeah. He's old, he's OG with it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was on the game. I was choosing high flyers, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember I was so happy when Eddie won the, the world championship yeah. against Brock. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was so one of the happy. best like yeah. time somebody won and shit. They like celebrated bro. that shit. I was like, yeah, he jumped to the crowd. Like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. I was like yelling. I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I remember everyone was high at school the next day. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was like the only wrestler I, I bought it? a shirt from. <laughs> the only wrestler. I ain't mad at it. 
Uh, this is Hosey. This is Juice yeah, Podcast. Some good matchups. Eddie versus Ben Wall. Yeah. Episode yeah. 48. Crazy. Mm. Who was it? Bro, Eddie had yeah. some matchups. Some I ain't been gonna lie. Especially the since they were just really good friends, so you could tell like yeah. they were they Eddie, were working. Eddie and Jericho had some classic yeah, matches. Eddie yeah, Eddie and Jericho. What? Yo, that's they're working. Yo, that Eddie has some that matches. That was the jump and hit. That was straight in the forehead. Yeah. Like, what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Yo, his dark side of the forehead is the forehead. worst, hey, bro. Yo, that's yeah. a you know that fool kicked it with his dead his dead kid and wife for like a day before he killed himself. Yeah, crazy fool. Like killed him and he was like chilling with them next to the bed. Like it's it's fucked up. Yeah. Dark, yeah, have you guys seen that Dark Side of the Rings? Like one of the no. best shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jose it's, put me on to that. Watch really that good. shit. That one and uh, the Jake the Snake one's fucked up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jake the Snake one was like one of the worst yeah. ones. Yeah. I was like, damn, this shit's for real. What's his storyline? It's it's about his dad mainly. Oh, like, yeah. Like how he just kind of his whole family wasn't wrestling. Yeah, like all his brothers and sisters. And like his dad. daughter died and no one knows how. Oh shit. Yeah. Or disappeared, right? Some twisted shit. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. What? Damn. He was involved in some shit. Yeah. But was fucked up, letting his rattlesnake just bite motherfuckers. <laughs> I know, right? That's nuts. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, go ahead, just suck it out." <laughs> the oh, Macho Man, yeah, macho- oh, yeah. <laughs> you snapped into my slim Jim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all fuck with Macho Man? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, he was cool. Yeah, he was cool. Have yeah, have you heard his rap album? It's fucking hilarious. I have not. Yeah, I, do rap I, do, I do. I do remember that. Funny man. Yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm. he used Fifty yeah? Cent to hype it up. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, fifty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fifty actually shot him yeah. out. Yeah, dude, wow. that's just pretty. Yeah, cool. damn. Yo, that's that's dope as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yo, John, John Cena never got a shot out by fifty. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he has a song of Murs. That's that's cool, right? Hey, the song yeah. of Murs is dope. So, but well, it, it ain't fifty. Nah, it ain't fifty. Uh, ain't you a game guy? <laughs> yeah, I am. I, am. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. All I said was, hey, real John quick, Cena gamer fifty. In the verses. That's how it started. I mean, 50 got way more yeah. hits. Man. Game's a better saying, MC, that's but 50 one. got way more hits, though. Real quick. Same question? Yeah. Yo, 50. Yeah, Jose, that's yeah. another one. Like in, in the club, one. takes out like four songs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. That's but then, but then hater to love it. Who gets the point? Uh, that's the trick question. Song. I know, but that's what we no, it's game song. Like really? like hater to love it's on yeah. games yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, no, no, documentary. No, it was supposed to be on the dude. Originally, the whole documentary is supposed to be Fifty Second album. That's right. why the massacre was so rushed and underproduced because he gave all the shit to Game supposedly. Yeah, he, he gave. I know for three songs for sure. Hater to love it. Well, I heard the almost the whole album. Yeah, that was the whole. Uh, album. I heard almost the whole documentary is supposed yeah. to be original. That's what he claimed. Yeah, because listen to the massacre. Confused, that's confused, that's a weak follow up to get rich with that trying. Yeah, yeah. 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 growing up, my mom confused. My mom kissing the girl. Hated love it. Hated no, love no, it. no. Ar- yeah. Arthur, what's the other one? Uh, oh, this is how we do. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Ah. How we do. I was like, what too. the fuck is the other one? I was like, mm. I, I gotta sing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. People, t- people talk about if they were still around today, how more healthy the game would be, and I, in general, and how doper the music just would be, because they mm. had such a sick ass chemistry, right? Like, "Hater to Love It" is a fucking classic. Yeah. It is, bro. Real though. That, it's just that, one of those songs that would never be. Like, like imagine if 50, if Fifty and Game were still cool, it'd be crazy, bro. Yeah, it'd be some different shit right now. Yeah, but they would agree, definitely bro. be a rapper. I agree. That's real shit. That's crazy. Right, let's get it started. Yeah, this is Jose. Yeah, I tried getting this started a little <laughs> <Yeah>. earlier. <laughs> we went back into the rest. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, yeah. It was genuine, you feel me? Yeah. Zouzi. It's your boy Juma. We here. Frankie, of course. And we got Destruct on. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Chilling, man. Yeah. Sipping yeah. on some juice. You, feel you know me? what I'm saying? Some juguito. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming out, bro. Real yeah, shit. man. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for getting my head right. You know, it's gonna <laughs> no. be it's gonna be a fun little interview and shit. But uh, yeah, yeah. we've been we've been going me. back and forth for a while. Yeah, Holy shit, talking man. about a bunch of different topics. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, we started with up, animation. Yep. Yeah. I pulled up. Yeah. Bro. I want to go, go back to our X Men one though, because yeah. you kept saying Thor. <laughs> You kept saying Thor like yeah, who, who got, got Thor? Body that Who's got Thor? Yeah, yeah. yeah who got so Thor? So it was X Men versus Avengers. Yeah, Avengers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said, <laughs> Professor Xavier body bags everybody. Yeah. You know, but take Xavier That's out. That's just a cheat code. Yeah. It's, yeah. This yeah. is a cheat code. It is a cheat code. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, fuck yeah. with anyone's mind. Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah. Magneto takes out Iron Man. Yeah, but right? Gene can take Wolverine. Too, Magneto's you know? on the team. You can't just throw <laughs> Magneto. But he is though. You can't though. But he is though. Because we're not throwing the villains. Like, you're throwing you're villains. counting the heroes. Yo, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if, if, heroes. if you see so them the X-Men in the... Is like Academy damn. in a sense? Like, yeah, yeah. The X-Men universe. He's, talk, no, he's talking he about just heroes. That. Yeah, not look, the villains. You know? This yeah. is how you justify it. Real quick, real quick. This is how you justify it. Who is it? It's like If you saw their face on the Saturday morning cartoon, they'd part of X-Men. You see Magneto every Saturday morning going towards 
like uh, right. I get what you're X. saying. He's a villain though. Yeah. He's, he's not, a villain he's though. Not. Bro, you can throw in Loki if you want. He he's not an with a T. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah, go ahead and throw in Loki then. All right, would yeah. you say Loki, Loki would be Avengers? Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, also, we're doing I wouldn't say all, I wouldn't say Loki's an Avenger. No, but I'm saying so if it was, it was, he's like a versus. He's a character though. Like I could bring in Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's over. Cause they're part of. I was just part of that the universe. universe. Part of the, yeah. uh, I was counting. You were, you were yeah. like. I was doing Captain He's America. Like, you're like Iron Black Widow. Widow. <laughs> you, yeah, no, we're not <laughs> Black Widow. Who's she even fighting? Bro? Okay, so, so you're Black talking Widow about X Men cartoon. Bring her up. Yeah, right. X Men cartoon you know, versus yeah, Avengers, yeah. right? What's like? All like right, seven of them. What's like? Colossus, uh, Professor X, and Gambit. Doctor Strange. I feel like you're you Wolverine. Gambit's Jeez. not part of so, it. So, so, so is Gambit not next? Yeah. How do you? The what do you have to be here? The ones that we like all. riding out, bro, yeah. and like X One. Gambit, X-Men. but he's part of the no. X Men though. Gambit's part of X Men, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're yes. going off the cartoon, sorry, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what I've been going off. So I say Gambit versus bro, when Winter Soldier. Game. I'd say Gambit oh, versus Winter God. Soldier, <laughs> right? You know who prefer, like, Cyclops cool. versus Iron Man. Gambit's in the school, yeah. right? Yes. Wolverine, yep. Captain Gambit's America. Yes. Storm and Scarlet oh, like Witch. I say Wolverine. Take Jubilee and Black Widow, I guess. <laughs> you try, you try Rogue, to the Rogue, huh? No, it'd be Rogue versus Rogue Captain Marvel. That'd be, that'd, that'd be a battle right there. Oh, okay. Because yeah. okay. they both fly and shit. Yeah, 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 Thor, yeah, yeah, Thor yeah. is a difficult one, though, because there's. Yeah, no who yeah, fights Thor? Thor's Loki. Uh, they, don't have a, they don't have a magic person that can oh, fight Thor. They got Doctor Doctor Beast Thor versus Thor. Hulk. Who's Thor fighting Doctor Strange? I don't, see, Beast will get Who's destroyed by Doctor Strange. But I, I would I, definitely throw Wolverine out. Yeah, and that yeah, was yeah. Chop. Wolverine's winning, bro. Wolverine's <laughs> winning. I'm, okay. Wolverine's yeah. <laughs> I fuck old, bro. I fuck old. I fuck old. It, it would have to be Professor X versus Doctor Strange. Yeah, There's that's no all. That's, that's about. And your man's is done, bro. Yeah, in the wheelchair, dude. With Professor X, everybody's done. Remember Logan? Remember Logan? He almost killed all the world when he had that headache and shit. Bro, Remember, man. Logan literally stopped this everybody from what they were doing, bro, just so Logan could save the little girl and shit. You know, You're welcome. Think about it. Damn. You're welcome. And they still have hey, the Dark bro. Phoenix too, right? Yeah, oh bro. yeah, oh. Dark Phoenix. Right. Jean Grey kind of. Jean Grey. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of Scarlet yeah, Witch is bro. like Dark Phoenix with yeah. too, so that'd yeah. be another good that, fight. That'd that'd be be yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You could throw Storm at fucking Thor. Oh yes, oh yeah, Lightning versus Lightning. That's genius. There you go. Damn, there it is. And Natalie Portman just came out. Bro, I she just you came back. A coin on that one. So you got the female point. Thor versus for, versus for, Storm. For yeah, Avengers, yeah, Thor yeah. is the one that causes trouble. Yeah, he's the for one. for anyone. Right. I'm thinking Hulk's top right. tier, but if not, bro, he is top nah, tier. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue would just up, take bro. his powers. Hulk, Hulk is Jean top Grey tier, but they make him look stupid. Yeah, Rogue could do a yeah. group hug and take all their powers. Yeah, Straight up, hey, come here, guys, and take all your powers. I got We're you. We're not My pulling germs. up on her like that. That's the dumbest plan. Hey, but she's sexy. She could pull up on him though. Rogue is sexy as fuck. Hawkeye for her, bro. From the distance, yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> From a distance. Nah, but Loki Gambit could get him though with a card. Ooh, like, oh, I got gotcha. you. You got an arrow, bitch. I got a card. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A card, a card versus, that. you know what I'm saying, arrows. That would be crazy. Can I get that cloth real quick, buddy? Appreciate you. Damn, she just that got, she just got real. I fuck with. We start with regular conversation. This shit we talk about all the time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, don't you wish you had the cool. Doctor Strange power to reverse time, to so like to reverse the bro, cup from dropping? Bro, you know. Bro. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 real quick. Which stone would you have? The time stone, homie. The time? I go back in time, dog. Damn. We're roads. We don't need roads. We're going. I forgot I fucked up the line, but you got what the one <laughs> you, know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't mind putting it back. <laughs> well, which stone would you get? I would say oh, time as know. well, but that was the one that what's that red one where oh, that's reality. Reality. The reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah, where he just like morphs uh cause he was on the uh, uh, what's his name? Drax. Yeah, like, Drax thought like he was gonna. Yeah, or some bro. Shit. Yeah, he thought he was gonna fight him. Like fucking nah. uh, Gamora thought she was like. Nope. Yeah. He was just like ha 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 ha. That just shit was cold. At her, like, you that know? shit was yeah. cold. Thank you, yeah, got me. Bro, that that's reality cold. stone kind of go crazy. I don't know yeah. you. That, that's one of those. I think that because of like like a it's like an IG filter, well, you know, straight up yeah. the reality stone. It's like Oculus. Real quick, that'd be crazy. Real quick before we get into the interview, super power. What like what would you guys have? I would have mind flying, low key. Flying? Yeah. Yeah, I think mine would always be flying. Flying? Right, fuck my whip. I just yeah, get bro, there. Yeah, bro, because fuck traffic. <laughs> oh, you want to, I got a show in Europe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 like, you feel me? Like, but you'd for, rather for a touring fly artist? to Europe? Or, or, so you, or so you'd rather yeah. fly to Europe than, like, teleport? Probably yeah. teleport. They need to be teleporting yeah. or not. Nah, that's yeah. a long flight. No, you, teleporting you, is a lot easier, right? On nah, some night crawler I'm shit, I'm down. I'd rather yeah, like look so. fly though, bro. Just think where I want to go yeah, for, yeah, for the yeah. scene. You want to take the scenic route? Yeah, yeah. bro. Like <laughs> not, not even that, bro. Like, like, she just like, just like all right, bro. Yeah, like you ever been at a family event? Nah, check it out. Check it out. Like y'all ever been at a family event? Like someone pisses you off, right? You're like, 
Bro, I'm about to pull up in the whip and just take off. Yeah. Nah, bro, like, man, fuck y'all, fuck y'all. I'm about to bitch, just take off. Just take yeah. off. Like, yeah, fuck your table, fuck y'all. Like, Frankie's just like, fuck your party. Just, fuck your party. just take down the gate. <laughs> fuck, push down the baby. Fuck it. Push down the baby. Said, what? <laughs> like, push down a baby. Nah, that's too funny. Bro, you're a villain, <laughs> though. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're a villain, bro. No, no, no. You're making a villain right here, bro. What the fuck? Hey, bro. Damn. Yeah, everyone's like, hey, bro. It's what, a sneak, like, what did she do? It's it's a sneak, like, oh, I didn't know. It's a sneak oh, peek yeah. to the boys uh, season five and shit. Bro. Ooh, <laughs> hey, you fuck with the boys? Dude? Fuck yeah, dude. Nah, that shit was crazy. Nutty, the first man. episode was ridiculous. Whoa. How do you how do you introduce a show like that? Dude, that was like uh what was that one show? Uh Black Mirror? You yeah. seen that yeah, shit? Yeah, the first yeah, episode, yeah, the politician yeah. fucking a pig. Yeah, that was that like the first, this new episode of the, the boys, yeah, right? I, I, that's uh, really yo, the yo, Where that fool shrunk into his you know what? And then sneeze and Yeah, this hey. The fuck? That's some inventive ass shit though. I will say. Honestly, mainly because you don't see it coming, and it's like, nah, I, I gotta continue watching this yeah. shit. And I'm like weirded out that I'm watching it, but it's like, ah, fuck it, dude. This is some good writing, you know? Because <laughs> that's the hero gasm. That's the yeah, hero gasm, yeah, right? Yeah, there. <laughs> I'd rather be confused than like, ah, fuck. Then predictable. Yeah, predictable. Exactly. Yeah, you know? exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah, we were saying about the, about the new movie. Uh, what's it called? Fucking nope. Mm. Yeah, it was alright. It was nutty. You yeah, watched it? Was pretty crazy. It was decent. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. It's decent. Yeah, it's know. a slow burn, but yeah. it shot really well. And I mean, you know, Jordan just gets his weird on, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Straight up. I'm I'm, I'm not watching it. Was There's going to be certain parts you're not going to understand way. though until after huh. the movie. Okay. I'm going to just let that be known. Okay, okay. Just remember Maybe because I like both like actors, you know. I like yeah. Uh, oh, like Kiki, Kiki kills yeah. it, bro. And of course, da- Daniel crazy, is dope bro. as fuck. But Kiki kills it, man. She. Yeah, I, feel, I really thought that fool was from the ranch. I was like, damn, <laughs> right? <laughs> he's about that life. Yeah. Oh, look, like, he sounds just like one. But <laughs> just prepare yourself for the scariest scenes with a monkey I think I've ever seen. Real talk, mm. some scary monkey scenes, mm. man. Real damn, shit. Damn, yeah, and there wasn't no like blood or gore. That's I like, mean, there was a little. We don't want to give away too much, I guess. Yeah. But there's a little. Yeah, I guess. Oh, so. Think like about it. That fool's name was Gordy, and there was a little bit of gore. Oh, shit. Another Cigars. theory. Another Damn, theory. Hey, the writings. Oh, no. Another theory. Damn. Wow. Loki, that's literally how I'll get trapped into a YouTube page. I know, right? So we'll like, title it like that. His name was Gordy. And going to the, you know? going <laughs> to the like, rabbit hole, right? <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> Yo, and it was hour dive. Hey, and it was connected to 9 11. You know what I'm saying? They're like, Yo, and they played a Jay Z song backwards at the yeah, same time. Dog. Saying, yeah. <laughs> they got me, you know. Shit, right? <laughs> Destruct though, bro. What's, What's up, up with you, man? We've been talking about all this other shit. Let's get into your music, bro. Oh, yeah, I appreciate bro. it, man. You know, I like this album. Bro. Real shit. Me vibing the whole Thank you, bro. Whole I mean, it's, it's technically a compilation. It's like ten years of just work, bro. Of just some legends I was blessed to work with, and. uh it, it took a while to really manifest this vinyl. You know, vinyl okay. is not easy to put out. It's very expensive. Shout out to Mind the Wax. You know, it's an indie label out of Greece that believed in me enough. And okay. this crazy ass lineup I had under one roof to even want to take a chance with me. With like a pretty indie artist to be like, and with a title like Best Never Heard, it's pretty fucking bold. Uh-huh. But they believe in your boy. And a year and some change later, we, we brought it to life. So shout out to Mind the Wax who just believing in, you know, some 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 new new people that they would never even thought of giving a chance on this shit. True. Was like, that oh. something you always wanted to do? Like, of course, bro. I mean, what yeah. artist doesn't want to have their merch and their shit pressed on vinyl, which now uh-huh. is more popular than ever? That's selling more than CDs and tapes. I mean, you go uh-huh. to Target, literally, when you walk into Target, they got its own vinyl section. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. Yeah, right? That's true, bro. I DVDs, tripped out. Yeah, yeah right? I, t- I saw the fucking DVDs. And the fucking it's CDs just something out? about it's a classic. Yeah, that's true. Right? Uh-huh. And we're in a nostalgic, like, crazy era now, you know, like Stranger Things out where people want that throwback feel. And what's more throwback than a vinyl? 12 inches shit. Yeah, so, bro. definitely. But yeah, you hopped on it pretty quick, dude. I think that's it, bro. Thing Thank you, bro. It's just a blessing. It's for hopefully be the first of many. I've been featured on a couple. Mm-hmm. It's my first official like release, so that's what felt that much more gratifying. Like, hey man, yeah, yeah. that was dope. dope being on a vinyl in general, but to have my name on the forefront and be like, yo, this shit really came to fruition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a fucking it's it's a beautiful artwork thing, crazy. Man. Thank definitely. you, man. Shout out to you, my boy Abstraction. Sick ass artist, man. He's done a lot of my work. Uh He's doing something for uh, me and my boy EQ. Got an album coming out next uh, next month. We got a crew called Non Flaco. So as you can okay. tell by the names, a little more funny raps, yeah, a little more raw yeah. shit. We have the album called Diets Don't Work, and you can only imagine how the cover is gonna look like. It's just pretty funny, like feet on a scale, and it's all broken. So if you like this, just wait to see the next shit that my boy's working on. He's just super talented, man. So fuck with well. my boy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, okay. but I can can assure you, we got 
Planet Asia on this. Actually, the song with Planet Asia and the song produced by Exile that's on this record is on the Non Flacco album. Okay. So that's what this album is also. A, it's like a little bit of old, a little bit of now, and also what's yet to come. Right, right. Mm. right. But yeah, we also got Joe Haas, King Magnetic from the whole Jedi Mind Tricks family. So we've been we've been cooking this album for a minute, man. So Non Flacco, <laughs> Dia Stonework, you can look out for that. I want to say end of August. Oh, so yeah, it's coming. Right. Hey. Yeah, man. Okay. Prior to the release of this, was the like, why was it just like a compilation of all the old songs? Was it something that you just had stuff in the tuck? Was it because you don't fuck with singles? Like, yeah. how was your approach to even releasing your type of, you I know, mean, like, to, like, to, you know, to, to release your music? That's, that's a great question, man. Like, to be honest, um, you know, it was just something random that came to my mind. I'm like, yo, I've been blessed to work with a lot of legends, man. Like I was, okay. I was able to work with Sean P before he passed. You know, rest man, in peace to the God. And yeah, that, that with, with him was my favorite track on that. No, nah, thank you, bro. And I was like right, in the lab yeah, with him know, making this joint. You know what I'm that's saying? Crazy, like, bro. I'm talking. He had an old bottle of Coke, sniffing some Coke. Like it was, that's it was crazy, wild, bro. But to like be with the with one of the greatest to ever do it in my mind. Mm-hmm. And write with him and, and share bars with him and see his face react. I remember he giving me a stank face. Oh, that's just hard, son. And for him to be like, oh, I can't wait to do the video. And for even even to be open to that. And he had a show that night and we filmed at the show. Like, And it's like, as the old saying goes, you don't always want to meet your idols, right? But for someone to be just so real and humble from the jump and just just really just hold it down, like, who the fuck am I? I'll, I'll never forget that, man. Mm. So so to have tracks like that with legends that I really got to build with, that was organic, it wasn't shit that I paid to play, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, I never right, was yeah. about that hustle. It just really meant a lot to me. So when I pitched it to the label, I was like, yo, I got a, a lot of heat with some OGs. Like, maybe we could put this under a roof, on, under one roof. And they were like, yo, it's not a bad lineup. Let's, let's see. Because obviously, off my name alone, not too many people are going to take that chance right. and be like, oh, well, what have you really done? And they're like, don't get me wrong. We fuck with your catalog and what you do. But vinyl is a very, very big investment. You know, Definitely. I'm talking thousands of dollars that go into making yeah, this shit. Definitely. Like, even on the low, you, you coming out at least a G anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they were like, you know what? Send us what you got in mind. So I pretty much compiled a compilation that never was meant to be to even see if I had this opportunity of making this vinyl even happen. Mm. So I, they gave me 40 minutes. I had to figure out 40 minutes of all these tracks I had and try to make sense of it, put it under one roof, sequence that bitch like how I, I would sequence an album in general and uh, send it to the label and, and luckily they fucked with it, man. That's fire. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So much that they got their MC, DJs, and producers involved with it. So uh, mm-hmm. to make it that much more global, to make it, my bad, to make it that much more global and shit, it, it made it that much more of a, a stamp on their side. Like, oh, mm-hmm. fuck it. If we're really going to back you up, we're going to co-sign you with our MCs, DJ, and producers That's from smart. our side out here in Greece. So when you That's rock smart. out here, you're already kind of familiar. You get, you get hip to their crowd, their scene. And I'm like, That's what I'm talking about. Like, That's power just a numbers. genuine network. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. So you, you recorded me? some of these other than Greece? No, no. Everything, oh. most of what okay. I did is all, you know, LA yeah. recordings. But I've been blessed to work with producers and MCs from all over the world, whether right, if it's right. Mexico, Germany, DJs from France. And so oh, to have this 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 record be released from a label in Greece, okay. which was officially manufactured in Paris, and then officially released for an MC in LA, it's like, damn, bro. And I'm from Brazil and Chile, so it's like, it's a global oh, fucking shit. bitch. That's yeah. why I have a song on here called Global Connects, because I, I don't know any other MC that's connect, or any artist in general that's connecting these parts of the world mm-hmm. under one roof or just in general. And Definitely. I just feel blessed that with the, through the power of this hip hop shit, we can bring us all together like that. You that know makes, what I mean? That's fire, bro. Yeah, it's dope as Out of that bro. 40 minutes, how was it choosing? Like, did, uh, did you have a lot of songs to choose from to even I mean, bro, narrow it down to four minutes? I'll put, it because... to, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. You know, I have 30, I'm not even trying to brag. I have 32 albums out, dog. I have almost as much albums as my goddamn age. I've been in the scene since 07. Like, I'm, I'm a recorder holic. I'm dedicated to this. And I executive produce other people's shit as well. Shout out to my boy, Expand the Mind in the house as well. True. Go check his album out. It's nuts. Elder Sensei, Craig G, just to name a few. It's just nutty. Anyways, so with that being said, I already had a catalog to go through. And I had shit I haven't put out yet, and shit I was working on. So you can only imagine the mind. Yeah, no, I was gonna ask, how did you even pick that out? Like, I I was just Thanos. Thanos on the hunt for them stones, bro. I just had to find them right gems under one glove, under one roof, and shit. You know. 
And it took me a good month to <laughs> compile that shit. You that smell me? That was a crazy, crazy ass reference. You, you feel me? So I, 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 I've referenced Thanos shit enough. Man. Nah, like, but it was just. I, I said some shit like "Sky be the limit," meaning no limit. Got to get it to the goal, get finished. Folks get diminished. Got no time for the hate. Try to put a ceiling on me, but I'm aiming at space. Sick with the flow. Got to grip on the infinity stones. Marvelous task to be sick to the bone. Ridiculous taxes only increasing and killing us slow. So, anyways, that's just an example of me <laughs> utilizing <laughs> the yeah. infinity yeah. stone right. shit. All right. So I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you noticing that that because you know, like like when my boy said, I dig your references, and that's one thing that I do not take for granted, bro. Because I feel like I'm in such a niche market already as it is. If you get my sound, dope. But if you actually get what the fuck I'm talking about, that lets yeah. me know like I'm doing I'm doing my job right as an MC, as a lyricist, and just as to artist. say something nobody said before. That too. Yeah. That's that too. like my biggest like. Cause ain't nothing new under the sun, right? Yeah, so how right. how you can only flip a bar so many fucking it. times? Yeah, so that's you know? why I always try to say like it has nothing to do with me not always getting what you say, but it has to like be a little different, you know? It exactly. Has to hit, like, and that's also not what you say is how you say. How you say. It. It. And with all that being said, the way you said up your bars real quick is it's, it's kind of fire. You like say the word before and then like explain it like more like, right more like metaphoric rather than simile form. Exactly. So yeah, because fire. simile. Don't get me wrong. Like for example, you know, I'm not gonna say no names. Because I don't want to discredit or, or go against what they do, but you know, there's a lot of people who who use the like, like, mm -hmm. like, like, which is ironic because the song I'm performing, Sharpshooters, I, I do that, but that was just to point out the genius of that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I could do this, but I'd rather have a more creative metaphor mm -hmm. to re make that reference mm -hmm. instead of just saying, "Yo, I'm like Mike Tyson." I'd rather be like, you know, you can't fuck on my record. I'm undeniable, like Tyson in his prime. I'd rather do some mm. shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm, definitely. You get what I'm saying? So it, creativity to me goes a long way. And, and you know, I'm a fan before any of this shit, bro. I've been a fan of hip hop since I was six, bro. Like since '94, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when I got introduced to that shit, I was like, yo, if I'm gonna tap into this, because the same year I fell in love with it, the same year I got into it. You know? Mm. So I was like, if if I'm, I want to approach this with the same respect I have as a fan. So I want to give the fucking listener just to something as dope as what I'm listening to. You get what I'm saying? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So best you never heard is a slogan that I never expected to have, but I feel like it leaves a lot of room for discussion. And when motherfuckers see that and see this Fidel Castro looking fool, I don't know why he made me look like that, but it's all love. <laughs> when they see that mug and this title and the name like Destruct, hey. I just want to leave more room hey. for discussion. Yeah. So when you hear it, you'll be like, hopefully it all makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just know it's coming from a, genu so a genuine tough, place. You I smell ain't me? Never even know this. It's, it's true though, Castro, right? Castro. I look like Loki for Del Castro. Yeah, Loki. I think it's the green, but like the LA saves it. But <laughs> this is just the beard. Yeah, look. yeah, the you know beard, what I'm saying? bro. He made me look like a Brazilian. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Fidel Castro. But shout out to my boy Abstraction. I love it. It is hard though. That shit is hard. You know what I'm saying? It just it's just the look on my face is like best you never heard. Really? Like I just want to leave room for discussion. So when you hear it, you're like. Okay, I get I it. The face size, you're goddamn right. It's busy. Goddamn yeah, right, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Snap into a slim jib. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's hard. Bro. It's all about conviction at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So no, I feel yeah, you. I feel you. Damn. So even prior to getting to this point, bro, can we talk about a little bit of the upbringing? Or just you, you mentioned nine four. Or just even yeah, man. being in and around the game. What made you? Uh, get into it. You say you got into it the second you fell in love. When was that? Or just even yeah, to man. even want to put out music? You know. Yeah, dude, like the story, the story never gets old. And, and I say it with pride because, you know, motherfuckers want to front and we're in a filtered ass out life now. Like Definitely. music aside, people just fake the funk. It's more than just fake it till you make it. People are just faking it in general. Yeah. Yeah, so I ain't true. afraid. I ain't afraid to admit that I got introduced to hip hop through watching Rugrats. You know, my uncle, mm -hmm. you know, came from Brazil and introduced me and my family to what the fuck stolen cable is. So he got us a, like a, a bootleg ass cable box. Like, oh, I came up Shout on this shit. Yeah. yeah. I was you know, busy with the red buttons. Off. Right? <laughs> right? And he came up Shots on it, it Spice yeah. Channel and all. And uh, I got introduced to fucking this channel called Nickelodeon that I never knew. And, you know, yeah, I only yeah, had, yeah. I was used to five, six channels and shit. Right. And then Rugrats, you know, had, had their show. And I was like, all right, cool. And then Crisscross did a fucking commercial for them and it just blew my fucking mind. And mm. ever since then, I just. Real started... quick, I thought you were thinking like the theme song. I was like, oh, nah, shit, nah, dude. nah. Dude, you know what's funny though? My boy my boy gave me a beat. Hey, shout out, shout, out, yeah. shout out to my boy Transformer uh, from uh, San Diego. He actually flipped that for me. So I actually have a beat with that. I've been the, debating on what I would do. And, uh, uh, take hey, it back to 94 and be you like, yeah, Rug Raps, call it Rug Raps. I swear, bro, you got to do Rug Raps. Rug Raps. Right? That'd be fire. It, yeah, it dude. would hit. It would exactly. Hit. When genius does a breakdown, for you, right? Really, 
So so it's crazy that that same year, right, bro? Uh, when I got introduced to hip hop through motherfucking Rugrats, uh, it was the first time I went with my mom to my homeland in Brazil, mm. and I was out there for three months, right? And I'm only six, mind you, didn't know a word of Portuguese, and I started picking up the language. And then my mom was like, "Oh, well, telling the family this fool does music now." They're like, "What?" And they wanted me to start rapping because she knew I just started freestyling out of out of nowhere and beatboxing. I was just so enthralled with the culture off that fucking commercial mm. that it was on replay, recorded on tape. That's all I would listen to. So, anyways, we go to Brazil, right? And uh, my dad was a rock fan, so he put me up on like Queen, ACDC, and you guys know the song "We Will, We Will Rock You." So I had my family do that. I didn't have a beat to rap to, so I just have them stomp their feet and clap their hands, you know, poof, 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 and I would just freestyle to that. So the same year I got introduced to hip hop, the same year I started just spitting, beatboxing, and even performing to a crowd, mm. and it all just kept developing That's naturally, bro. Core, you feel me? Rapping That's over, it. think about it. Well, I just told you some shit that That's involved MC. Rugrats and motherfucking Queen, dog. Rugrats, yeah. Crisscross, and Queen. To be honest, honest, bro. Yeah, and Chris Cross, to right? Honest, the most all, yeah, Don't get more diverse than that shit, bro. Yeah. Honestly, bro, the most fascinating thing I think you mentioned is the performing part, right? That it I was, was already, yeah, like. Doing it in front of people is yeah. different than wanting to go record a song. It's different than, right. you know, it's Talk like that shit. It, it's a whole different, like, motivation, I think. Absolutely. Like, doing it in front of people. Oh, dog, rocking you know? a packed house is better than sex yeah. sometimes, straight Kinda up. That's like, a feeling that you can't even put into words sometimes when you got honest, a crowd like with you. It's just, like, a little off topic, but just, like, watching a talent show, like, at school or something. Yeah. I would kind of, like, maybe thinking I want a roast or be, but it's, like, more like a jealousy, like, or, like, I know I can't do what they're doing. Right. In front of all these people, in front of the school, in front of like just performing, like just yeah, and yeah. like whatever they're doing. That's real, man. Singing like another song or like, so like for you to fall in love with it through the basis of I can do it in front of people is a whole different respect to me, at least. That, no, that, I appreciate that's fire, it, man. Bro. It was definitely a, a culture shock to the fullest extent of just this, this hip hop lifestyle coming into me. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I knew that if I was going to do it, I wanted to do it right, bring justice to it. Bring some goddamn integrity and class to it, and of course some bars. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a fan of this shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Who are some of your biggest influences? Uh, Sean Price for sure, Guru, Gangstar mm -hmm. forever. You know what I'm saying? Most Def, Biggie, Pac. You know what I'm saying? Mocha only on some smooth shit. Sade, Wu Tang. You know I just, mm -hmm. I just yeah, love, yeah, yeah. I just love just okay. dope music, man. That's why you hear a lot of different sounds on this. You know this project spans over ten years of work. So you could really hear just different vibes. Like, for example, like the, the Kev Brown song, like that's from Landover, Maryland. An OG right. who's worked with Visionaries and Busta Rhymes, to name a few. And I have his whole style from that side of the, of the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibe with an L.A. cat. I think the only other L.A. cats he fucked with was Visionaries. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is crazy, like, to say that. And then, like, the Sean P joint. Shout out uh -huh. to my brother EQ. Amazing producer. You know what I mean? It's such a grimy, raw beat that the minute I played it for Sean, he was like, that's me. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, the the, the the young legends joint produced by Mocha only. That's from Canada. Damn. The minute I showed it to Scarab from Living Legends, he was like, "I'm with it." He did his verse before I even did mine. I was like, "That's love, bro." Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying like that's pretty dope. So you know, we go where the music that's takes it. us, and then the production is really a beautiful thing. That I'm just crazy. It's crazy just to have the the ear and perspective I have that really diversifies what I'm into. I right. Mean, I feel like the more you diversify your input, the more you diversifies your output. You right. can't just be stuck to hip hop and one thing, and that's how your music gonna come out. And that's cool. You can be on that raw shit all you want, but I like to hit them a little bit of soul. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, maybe with a clothesline, little elbow drop, and a submission. But we get them, you know, best of both worlds and shit. Definitely, you know, we try yeah. to be well rounded. You know, yeah, salut yeah. by the way. Thank you. you, know Thank you. <laughs> Real quick, if you had a like, you know, they be saying a last meal. If you had a last album to ever listen to, what would it be? I say this all the time. If I was on an island, just give me Sade's greatest hits. I'm good. That's For real. It. And I'll pick out every song that everyone sampled from Doom to myself to anyone else that flipped it. Yeah, I could do Sade's greatest hits. That's mm. it. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's Simple fire, man, bro. That's fire. I just that's had... quick. Yeah, dude. I had not yeah. one... I'll put it to you like this. I had not one, but two homies flip samples from me. Shout out to my brother Bless One and my boy J57. They both flipped two different Sade samples for me that I'm playing. And, and... For my birthday show coming out on the 17th, you guys gonna come out. Me and EQ's birthday uh, August 17th at the Virgil uh, with Scarab, Abstract Rude, a whole bunch of people. Just okay, name a few. There, I yeah, got me a yeah. Sade Diamond Life, her first album T-shirt to rock that night. Just cause oh, yeah, there ain't dope. there ain't no other person that just moves me and gets me in a whole different place like like Sade, man. Something about it. What's on the album, real quick? Cause I just probably know songs. Smooth Operator. Okay. No, no. Uh, Sweetest Taboo. Okay. Hang, hold yeah, on to yeah. your love. Right, Cherish sure. the day. I yeah, mean, you keep, I'll keep going, yeah, bro. Right, sure. I'll keep going. 
Because I grew up it's on timeless music. Seven, you know? so that's it's timeless shit. music. You feel me? That's like yeah. what Dead Press, hey, hey, like like Dead Press said, it's, it's bigger than hip hop, dog. It's bigger than yeah. hip hop. You know what I mean? Boy been hitting notes all night. I know I you know. weren't expecting that. <laughs> I, I know I you weren't expecting that. I, I was not. So it's, so I'm glad I asked. And and that's the best part of being an artist that we mm-hmm. still have a chance to give a crowd something they didn't expect, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's something I still value. You know what I mean? Honestly, I don't just even on the surface, bro. Like, it sucks to judge a person, but. Like I wouldn't think that's like from you discussing everything about rap and hip hop. Yeah, that you would mention something that's not rap or hip hop. Like that's, that's the main thing, you know. That's real. So it's like I was only taking in everything you told me. It wasn't that I based you off anything else, rather than what you told me and listening to your music as well. That's real. And then to find out it'd be some Sade shit, you know. Like that's real, you, you know, to even maybe that's like even I feel like influences really make me gauge an artist differently. Even which is why I say references, you'll you'll hear like everything you mentioned in like the song you're about to do for sharpshooters. Like the different artists you mentioned, like it'll make me like, oh shit. Being that you fuck with him will make me fuck with you. Indirectly. Right. right, you know? Yeah. So it, it it works like that both ways. Nah, I appreciate That's that. Like, yeah, all the rest of the bars got us really. It, yeah. it, it, it worked. It bro, I got it a song is. called Stone Cold Heart where I sample his glass psh, breaking. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on his phone to call it Cold Stone Heart. <laughs> yeah, cold, yeah. But it's genius marketing. Yo, Stone it's Cold, you need a link with Cold Stone. It makes a, some kind of stunning a stunner ice cream sundae. I, I does, I, I does. Stone Cold, Cold Stone, Stunner <laughs> Sunday. Sunday, <laughs> Broken Skull Sunday. Yeah, there you go. There it is. The Stone Cold, Cold Stone, Broken Skull Sunday. Try to say that fast three times, dog. Like, oh, God damn. You can't touch no one. That shit made me fucking confused. Nah, God damn. nah but, but for real, I appreciate that, dog. You know, honestly, I, I look at it like, even when you're just looking at me, you don't know what the fuck I'm going to sound like or exactly. do or say. And that's how I want my music to be. I want it to be colorless, blindness. Don't matter what you believe in or not, if you just... Feel good music, you're gonna fuck with what I do. Cause that's how I look at it. If it's dope, it's that's dope. Fire. I don't know what is underground. I don't know what's commercial anymore. That's All fire. of it's a blurred line. I saw Griselda on the late night show, like you feel me? Like, or on, on it, some award show. Mm-hmm. Possibilities is limitless now. To me, is man, if it's dope, it's dope. I, I'm at a point in my life now where I don't overthink anything anymore, dog. Same thing whether if I'm recording the verse, talking to a, my lady or whatever the fuck, I don't overthink shit. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm just going to go off what I'm feeling, and that's what it is. It's going to forever be in that moment of shit. I feel like the more you procrastinate, the more you overthink shit, the more shit don't happen. Have don't get me wrong. like that as an artist? No, I mean, look, look, look. Don't get me wrong. You'd always be calculated with your moves. Right. But I'm just saying now I'm just a lot more free-spirited just because life is so short, dog. COVID shit aside, I lost so many homies, dog. It's not even funny. So many family members that I'm just like, you know what? I want to embrace the most of what I could do right now and hopefully it'll be the best version of myself and hopefully mm-hmm. I'm putting my, my best foot forward, you know? As an artist, I've always been a risk taker. I've always kind of, you know, had a, you know, my first album's called Rebel Minded because that kind of reflected my whole perspective on this shit. I wanted to have a, a different approach and not really follow a certain guideline of what I considered a bar or an album or a dope beat and shit, right. you know? But I would still definitely redo takes, you know, maybe three or four, you know, the, the just depending on the energy or whatever vibe I wanted to capture. Nowadays, first or second take, I'm good, dog. I don't overthink it anymore. I feel like it's so second nature that it's like, I don't even want to rap at you anymore. I just want to conversate with you. I want to build a mood. I don't want to just bars, bars, bars. Don't get me wrong, we could do that, but I don't want to be no one-trick pony and just known for one thing and shit, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Okay. But that's where I'm at now. It's like, just, just roll it, man. Roll the dice where it lands, it lands. Nothing about you seems for us, bro. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Yeah. yeah. Real, Real shit. genuine Real right shit. off the bat. Appreciate that, man. You can yeah, hear it in your music that you actually, you do this shit. Thank you, bro. And that's something that I feel like is so forced nowadays, you know what I mean? Whether if it's a false narrative or any 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 hype that people are, or whatever people are trying to portray, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, Take social media away. Who the fuck are you? And I'm from that era, dog. I'm from that era where MySpace nah, barely true, cracked. Bro. I'm talking, I give true, flyers hand to hand to motherfuckers. I go to Project Blow by myself just to say what's up and what's going on. Where is this? Where is the culture? I heard about it from a show. I didn't hear it from a post or some shit. You know what I mean? So Was that based off like you having to fuck with the people or was that because you just love the music? Like what, what makes you be that outgoing type, especially from, because I'm in the era of speaking like SoundCloud. Right. SoundCloud rappers didn't have to do none of that. Right. They just had to drop music. So what makes you want to be that connected? 
I mean, like I said, I come from a simpler time where, you know, you don't hear about shows from word of mouth, bro, or mm. from a flyer in your hand. Like I heard, I went to the first Rock the Bells because I got that flyer in my hand. I'm like, word. or I saw the poster in front of my high school. Word. Like what? Wu-Tang's first show in 10 years? Me, you know? Exactly. I, I was blessed to see ODB's last concert alive and shit. Yeah. So I just come from that era. And I tell my boy Expand all the time. It's like, I come from the era where face value matters, dog. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a fan or artist, just you being there fucking matters. More than a post, more than a... I fucking live vid the fact that you were there in that fucking moment and the fact that whether it was captured or not to me it just goes a lot a lot longer you know what mm. i mean yeah exactly yeah. so so that's something that, that that's just the time time and era i come from fam where that's you know fire. when it comes to just my live shows or just me building with people in general ain't nothing like us really working in person and making shit crack mm -hmm. i mean i get it. if you're on the other side of the world that's cool email right. all day you know that's smuggle right. drugs all day but in person we could just cook it different ups all day uh, ups yeah. all day <laughs> you need some nah. person ain't nothing like face value and really you know what i'm saying nah i get you you know I what i mean you. we were facetiming before facetiming was the actual yeah, option sure. on the phone, you know what i mean yeah so, i get you bro yeah he said a man's a you know man shit. that looks a man Another bar. It's another, another bar. bar. Yeah. Another bar. Feel you, bro. So just with this tape, real, real quick, bro, which is your favorite off of it? Hard to say, man. Uh, I mean, the, the 3 for 29, just because, you know, I got the, yeah. I, I can't stress it enough how much Sean P means to me, dog. And the, just to be blessed to work with him is, is everything, you know. So just to have it on wax, too, to forever be immortalized in this, in this culture shit. The 3 for 29 is big. Um, I love Sharpshooters just because it's new. It's a sneak peek to me and Zoll's album, what we cooking up for mm. late, later on this year. And uh, it just makes me feel good and also blessed to have Mocha Only on it as well, which is, you know, one of my favorites. Uh, Lethal was crazy. You know, that being a sneak peek to me and EQ's album and to have the OG Planet Asia fucking flawless victory, that shit. Mm -hmm. He said, my gangster's gorgeous, eating lobster and swordfish. I don't know what he says, but it, he spazzes on it. But Le I say Lethal was up there. Um, shit, man, I love I love the, the Young Legends joint. Just the fact that I've been a fan of Living Legends for forever. That's why I wanted to call the song Young Legends to kind of pay homage to them. And mm -hmm. hopefully I can be considered that someday. You know All what right. I mean? And to be co-signed with someone that I consider a legend, like it's, yeah, it's a beautiful... You homage. Right? I, and I feel like it keeps you... You seem humbled, you know? Oh, thank you, man. But you keep up on all these songs, bro. Don't get it twisted. You yeah, yeah, up there, bro. You be having better verses, you know? Like, like Try to, try to hold my own, you know what I'm saying? To me, it's like... I love how with rap, like it could be a preference. Like one day I like this verse better than the other. Right. But it's better when like I know both people did the beat justice. Right. Like, like I'm know? feeling more fife than tip. Yeah. Or maybe I'm feeling more tip yeah, than fife. But you like know? both had to go off for me to like it. You right. Know? Right. Make listen to it again. So no. Although no, you mentioned all thank, these, legends, thank you for saying you, that, man. You know, like you, you keep up, bro. Like and and like I say that just even to some, you probably outdo. Damn. Yeah, real shit. Hey man, I'm, I'm humbled by you saying that, bro. That that's Definitely. one thing that you know my boy was kind of afraid uh, of the project, and he was being real with me. He's like, you don't think you're getting overshadowed mm. by the features, and I'm like, you know, that's a good point, but I don't think I half-assed it. I I felt that I really held my own, and the fact that, I mean, once. Once Sean P gives you a stink face after hearing your verse for the first yeah, time, I'm like, fuck, fuck everybody, bro. Yeah. One of my greatest really MCs like, said, yo, yeah. that shit was hard, son. And I look back yeah. and I'm like, I could have been so much harder and better. Yeah. But that song's like almost 10 years old. But I was like, fuck it, man. I was like 22, 23 with God. You know what I'm saying? With one of the greatest to ever fucking do it. So, you know? So I appreciate that, man. I really care about what this fucking culture is, dog. I really care about everything from how it's presented to how it looks sounds so when it comes to my work i want all that shit to be you know what i'm saying on full display of how much i love this this culture dog how much integrity i hold myself with this shit mm -hmm. contrary to anyone's belief or perspective yeah. it's like you know what man i'm one of those guys it's like you meet me once you always know who i am you listen to my music you always know who i am yeah i can switch up the flow and delivery but it's still coming from a genuine source you know and That's i don't know right. too many people yeah. people in general that can say that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah straight up Definitely. Bro. You know, the perspective to me is like, stay true to the foundation, but don't be afraid to adapt. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the sounds go. Whether it's boom, trap, whatever. If it's dope, it's dope, man. We'll make that That's shit work. That's a bar. It's, it's real, though. Stay true to the foundation. It's real, though. It's don't dope. be afraid it's real, though. to adapt. That's a bar. I'm just being real, because yeah, people get stuck in their ways, and I'm yeah. like, well, you are where you are, my yeah. G. That's just as simple as that. Who else to blame but, You're, you know, yeah. what you invest in? Real you know, definitely, so. bro. So I appreciate it, bro. You genuine, bro. This shit. Yeah. 
Really insightful as well, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank really you, bro. Thank you, Thank you. That's what she said. Bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, shit, shit. Uh, yeah, do you mind if we get that preview of the music or just shall we, man? Or yeah, what? Bro. Yeah. I, I felt it was only right since I'm an OC. Yeah. And I'm working with an OC OG. Shout out to my brother DJ Zoe, one of the illest fucking DJs. Hello. I'm talking DJs for Abstract Root, Sage Francis, just to name a few. We got this crazy album coming out called Sharpshooters, and I felt it was only right to put a track on that upcoming album on his vinyl not that's just because i got mocha only on it the production is nuts i mean zo is an amazing producer and that's DJ. hard to even give him the same exposure that you feel deserves you know oh bro with these other right? legends you know bro he killed it on on the joint my joint with blue on king of the kings he fucking killed the cuts on that we and me and zo have such an ill repertoire that there's only a few people i'll even be he's in a spot he's a dj and producer Ooh. From from this side of town, he be so, walking on them beats. Right, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, that was Wait to hear the project, bro. So it's not too many heads. I that, with Babu, from of course, dilated. dilated. So he has similarities as well. Oh, I dude. say that. Like, I love the, the all the duck seasons. Different. Yeah, yeah. The, well, maybe I like duck season one and two more than three, but I still I love all the oh, duck yeah, seasons. Shit, you know, it's just a rep, like we just watched DJ Quick about yeah. two weeks ago, Ooh, and he had like uh, even besides him, like the other DJ with them. Yeah, he was genuinely DJing up there, doing cuts oh, yeah. and all. Like, and he does like, it all. It's a lost art, you know. And I feel like that's something that I really oh, loved. These people on the stairs with it—they all they yeah. need to make their show crack. Recipes yeah, double K, you know what I oh, mean? So damn, straight that's up, fire, bro. man. That's fire. So it was only right. I'm on your guy's side of town. I wanted to showcase a joint with someone from your side of town that I fucks with that I respect that happened to be on this record as well, man. So hell oh, yeah, bro. Get to I it appreciate you, bro. We talked about uh, powers, right? Let uh -huh. me just. Teleport real quick over there. Yeah. Everyone close your eyes, turn the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Appreciate you, gang. Right. Yeah. Uh, Juice Podcast, what up? Yeah. LA to OC, we in this bitch, man. Uh, we stay true. So, what up? Yeah. Uh, it's the best you never heard, right? Look, a sharpshooter like Bret Hart, this be the best part Like Jay Live and Primo in the beat knock Fall in love with the Slumville, real talk Rest in peace to Dilla Dog, keep the streets high I'm CL Smooth and Zoe be the P-Rock We dilated, smoking over AOC drops This that music you need, like we banging knots OD and off the bat, no delay, detox I'm godly over beats like Nas at 19 Spitting sermons on these tracks, but my eyes ain't green My DJ's quick to cut it up for the things Smooth grooves that be sharper than the guillotine A rap major with a beat minor In the class of our own, we define timeless and stay true uh, uh, live and direct, baby. Uh, we stay true, motherfucker. This hard shit with different styles like Mick Foley. Never drinking coffee, but always playing some mocha only. Sharp flow like Rock Kim, these rhymes holy. Survive life threatening crashes like Easy told me. Raw like M, so critics always try to scold me. Made from scratch like Daylight, almost won the trophy. These special herbs we cooking up is on the lonely. Bringing doom with a mask that can match the chrome piece. Sharper than most like Rizzo with the fangs on. Bringing death with the shit like Knife with a soul squad. Static selector, we kill it with the underdog. Call me Roy 62 man with the bars A rap major with a B minor In a class of our own We define timeless and stay true What? Uh. Yeah, we stay true We stay true All day yeah. Shout out to the Juice Podcast for having me, man a Little sneak peek off me and DJ Zoe's project Sharpshooters But of course right now you can get that off the best You never heard vinyl Available everywhere. Puros clásicos. All day. What? Blast. Damn. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Talk that shit. Yo, talk, bro. You know? He nice as fuck, my guy. Nah, I appreciate that, man. Nice, gang. Reference gang, you know? <laughs> fire is fire, bro. It don't matter if you in the Stone Age of today. Fire is fire, bro. Hey, man. We're trying, we're trying to make some timeless, dog. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I like that, though. Don't matter. You ready for the next one? Yeah, man. Let's get it. If you can make fire or not. Hey.
<laughs> that's that part. Yeah, little sneak peek off that non flacco shit. Uh. And we're gonna do it like this. I thought I told your ass that we be, we be, we be. And you ain't fucking with the cats, Dabby, Dabby, Dabby. It's CQ when the struck, and we, and we, and we. It's not flocking King Medales, and we. Look, yo, truth be told, I spit crack for yo with lobes. Smack rappers like the hand of that Nat King Cole. When I'm talking bitches, better play your role. Wanna remind that crack a bad in your dome like Sammy Sosa. You got a problem, I'll be the one to kill the drama. Hand to your mama, then I'll bury you behind Rwanda. These motherfuckers wanna start, but they ain't saying nada. I'll have the gold chain military surround your casa. And we ain't no namers, we the gun namers. Desert Eagle Asia digging neat the double gauges. Quick to die, you know you'll be the first to catch a facelift. Redecorate your crew, we turn gorillas in the H shit. So face it, you weed the bleeding and no bleeding now. Slay your chick, hide the evidence, get in the mouth. Rebel shit, now Flacco gotta break it down. And with the planet on our side, it's on to get it now. Dramatic ass ending. <sighs> That's that lethal featuring EQ and Planet Asia off that best you that never heard vinyl. That was a fire Planet Asia bar at the end, too. What'd you oh, say? Yeah. And with the planet on our side, it's on to get it now. You know, it's only right. <laughs> it's only right, man. Yeah, that's produced by Vocab I out of uh, Canada. That's, that's, that's a crazy I banger. Fuck with it. Nah, good luck, man. Destruct, bro. You one of them ones, bro. I ah. really appreciate you. I swear to Thank God. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Real shit. Yeah, you come back in. Yeah, yes, sir. Juiced up. Juiced yeah, up. Bro. Juiced up. You feel me? <laughs> man, bro, it's it's six. Yeah. Hey, Thank you, bro. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah off that juice, son. Off that juice, man. Appreciate that. I like how you gave it both sides, thing, the gritty and then all sides. You said, you know, a little bit of the yeah, punch right. Side. You feel me? It's all about balance, man. I, I try to bring a little soul and a little bit of the raw shit as well. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I feel like, you know, adaptation is what you're preaching. Exactly, about. but when the artist is just just feeling it, it's like like you know, Picasso. You know, you might not get it the first time. You look at it again at a different angle. It's like, oh, okay, it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, maybe in a different lighting, I might get it. So, whether you're more, you know, into the soul based shit or more into that straight raw gritty shit, I'm gonna be that cat to like give that fix for you. Like, whatever you need, I got you covered. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? I feel like with a name like Destruct, it's like I could be a wrestler or a fucking rock band. I Let alone the MC. Like, you don't know what the fuck to expect. I, I wanted a universal name because I wanted to make universal music, regardless of whatever kind of hip hop fan you know, you went to. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why I even shout out to Inner City Soul. I got a live band. That's like a whole other level of, of just instrumentation and music in general, where it's a fusion of jazz or we go to my country, hit them with a little bit of samba and shit. You know what I'm saying? Even with a little. I, dude, I even, I even executive produce a metal band. Shout out to Putrescence, man. They check out their new record. It's fucking amazing. I'm talking top of the lungs, bro, in your fucking face. Like, if it's dope, it's dope, man. Yeah. I don't give yeah. a fuck whether I'm behind the scenes or in it, man. If it's dope, it's dope. We're going to make that shit work. I just want to be. That's why you go to my shit. Don't say musician. It says artist, dog, because that's what we do. It's just, we live and breathe this fucking art form. You know, you know what I'm saying, and we, yeah, we feel me, and, and we filming too, man. Shout out to resident people. I might as well just shameless plug everything. <laughs> nah, please, Shout out to the resident please, people. Bro. Me and my nah, boy MZ One. You, you feel me? Please. So yeah, whether if it's bro. visuals or audio, I'm about that life. We got you covered. We want to bring you vision of life, let alone our own. And that's really what we're trying to do is just keep this culture alive, keep it moving, and. It just feels dope to just be able to do that and facilitate that shit. You. you know what I mean? Likewise, so where the people can find you, bro. All your music as well, bro. Everything. Get the vinyl, everything. Wow. Everything, man. Uh, Destructmusic.com, one stop shop, just the way it's spelled. Destruct Music, that's the IG as well. And uh, keep it simple like that. You know, everything else, just swipe right on Tinder and you got me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got me. And you got me, bro. That's that's where we found each other, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, the podcast. Ooh, podcast. Ooh, podcast. Ooh, the podcast. Ooh, ooh, I'm, not ooh, hey, I'm not disclosing or discriminating. Hey, who's, who's I'm saying the whole podcast. Hey, who's name I said, <laughs> Yeah. No, As my dip you, said, man. homies would say, pause. Pause. Yeah, pause. True, pause. pause. <laughs> you ready, bro? Hey, okay, you like, that's no a juice. I'm not sipping. You yeah. know what I'm <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, man. Th- th- I really appreciate yeah, y'all man. for having me, man. Thank you for y'all got me way more faded. Hey, you Thank you, man. You got me way more deep. faded than I expected to be, but hopefully <laughs> some some of this shit made sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it will, bro. Oh, it was man. nice. It was nice. Thank you, man. You, bro. Great episode. And bro. you know what? To bring, out, honestly. I appreciate it. To bring justice, just because that song is so fresh in my head, man. Can can I kick my second verse of Sharpshooters one more time? My bad. I just I, I fucked up on like two lines, and I want to just really give justice to that verse. That's cool. Go ahead, bro. Is that cool? Please, what I really bro. meant to say was, look, I please. said, just because you pointed out the Mick Foley line, and I appreciate nah, that. please. I said, this harsh shit with different styles like Mick Foley, never drinking coffee, but always playing some mocha only. Sharp flow like Rock Kim, these rhymes holy. Survive life-threatening crashes like Yeezy told me. Raw like M, so critics always try to scold me. Made from scratch like Dela almost won the trophy. These special herbs we cooking up is on the lonely. Bringing doom with a mask that can match the chrome piece. Sharper than most like Rizzo with the fangs on. Making wonders for the scene like Ninth with his soul squad. Kill the static, selective when we compose a song. Call me Roy 6-2, the next best underdog. A rap major with a beat minor. In a class of our own, we define timeless and stay true. I just wanted to get that verse yeah, out correctly, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Thank a fire you, ending. Juice Thank podcast. You. That makes Thank the you. ending more crazy. That is fire. Appreciate y'all, man. This is what That's we do, running. man. This is what, what we, we do, go. man. That's what we do. Bring art to real life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We bring art to the people. Exclusive. Y'all need to get in on this. Juice. Yeah, Struck. Y'all Juice. heard. Juice. We out. Juice. Toza. It's your boy Juma signing. Hey, Frankie. We out of here. Thank y'all for tuning in. Mr. Anderson. Man Like Lens. Isaac. Appreciate you every week. You feel me? Thanks, fan. Thank you all for coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're coming here soon. You, yeah, he is. Oh, August yeah. 2nd. Uh, we're, yeah, we're already. Shit. Real shit. Pending. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> for, hey, for save times, can we can we DX on three? Is that cool? You guys down? <laughs> on <laughs> three? Right, can we, just can we do how we used to do it? Or do you though. All right. How about we all do our I'm favorite awesome. wrestling references? Is that cool? Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit him with the DX, though. Hey, I'm going to hit him you with You get him with the John Cena? What are you going to hit him with, bro? Nah, you're with the Rock? The Rock, bring it? That's the Booker oh, T. Oh, you about to spin a Rooney on us? <laughs> Damn, I'm about to be impressed, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Got, I, what are you going to pick, bro? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna, 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 can, can you do the Undertaker? Yeah, can you roll your eyes back or not? If I yeah, do, I'm going to pop out. What are you going to hit him with? The sun. I'm probably going to have to hit him with the DX. The DX. All right, so two DXs, John Cena, and just get him like what, a Rock? I'll give him a little Rock. Or hit him with the Hardy Boys. What's the Hardy Boys? Hey, throw me a beer. Yeah, there you go. Nah, shit. I throw him a beer. Throw me a beer. If I get a bottle, bust a bottle on his head. I know, right? Bust a bottle on his head. You think you fucking have glass and have beer? Throw him a juice. That's the new shit. Two cartons of juice. All right, all right. Two cartons of juice. All right, all right. All right. All right. Just Fuck it. Get, get get the Modelo bottle. Yeah. Just just just, 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 just to give it the aesthetic. Yeah. Just like shake it. Like no, just, just pass pass the Modelo oh, bottle. Just as an aesthetic. Shake, shake it. Champagne. We there. All right. So on three, can we hit him with the reference? Is that cool? One, two, three. Booker T. <laughs> you gotta say it. Booker T. Tell me you didn't just say that. Tell me you didn't just. Last minute, it up on us too. Like last year. I thought you were doing a John Cena. Let's do. Let's do. I thought you said you were doing a John Cena. I was, but that's just a cooler thing. But Spinner Rooney's way cooler (laughs) than you can't see me. (laughs) Yeah, he killed it. (laughs) He did. And Booker T, a real thug. I just saw his new biography on A&E. He's a thug, bro. He came from some real shit. Yeah, put me on. Yeah, dog. I don't even know. I don't even know. The Goldberg one almost made me cry. I ain't going to lie. Mm, A&E, WWE, uh, WWE biographies. Watch that shit, bro. For sure. Yeah. And Dark Side of the Ring. All yeah, day. That, all, all day. day. Goldberg still isn't in a better heel than him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's, not no, he's not. He's not. I'm sorry. I fuck with Goldberg, Yo. but he's not a better heel than Edge. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's you? not a better heel than Edge? No. I mean, you're right. You're right. Edge has more character and he's more seasoned. True. But, but Goldberg in real life can, like, fuck him up. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I ain't really about that. You know? Hell no, yeah. Goldberg will fucking toss up Edge. He had a better spear. Yeah. Mm, okay. Hey, right. That's all we were saying. Yeah. So. He didn't say he had a better character. I was just saying he had the better spear. Yeah. See, that was oh, okay. Right, Thank you. Yeah, okay. See, I thought that was argument. Stop. Okay, let's just close out the show. Let's close yeah, out the show. Gone. Fucking traitor. We're gonna go to <laughs> See how like, he ain't got the mic. All of a sudden, traitor. <laughs> hey, you see how he said that when he ain't had the mic? Yeah, traitor. <laughs> traitor. Let me out, bro. Cut this shit out. Salute. Who <laughs> get Making it out. Hey, look. Go around the town, up in my way, up my shit. Niggas be making a sound. Niggas don't wish where I'm from. Round till we making it out. Yeah. Selling that fish, selling that fish. Niggas grounded just a sign. I'ma go around the town.